But it's been a year filled with, as we all know, broken promises. He's made villains out of Americans who chose not to get vaccinated, calling it the pandemic of the unvaccinated. I don't really think that's unifying the country. He says he won't be a red state, blue state kind of president. But what about this blatant calling out of red states for their election laws? He and the Democrats have harped on that message, pushing this election lie reform thing that they've got going. I mean, it's just one big divisive thing after another. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard O'Jet here. And of all the Trump press secretaries, none have managed to squirm their way back into the limelight like Dancing with the Stars correspondent Sean Spicer. This jackaloon goes on TV and pretends like he didn't spend his entire tenure as press secretary lying and covering up for Trump. Trump. Sean Spicer is the epitome of the D.C. swamp. This leech seems to never go away, and no matter how much we scrape him off the bottom of our boots, he always manages to keep popping up, and he just seems to get more irritating with age. To be clear, Spicer is a liar. He's a con artist. He's a grifter, and he's the reason so many people don't trust the government. Sean Spicer never found a lie that he didn't fall in love with and help spread. So when you see Sean Spicer go on fake news propaganda network, and you can't even find that cable uh, or, or streaming package, understand where he's coming from, who he is, before you listen to anything that he actually has to say. Now, I don't want to get too far off subject here, but how much Botox is Sean Spicer getting these days? Look, folks, if that's, if that's your thing, you do you. But I can't tell if he is crying, screaming, yelling, or happy to be on TV because he has the same facial expressions. Now, let's get back to ripping Sean. Sean Spicer is angry at the president, and he should be. One of the best moves president made was hiring Press Secretary Jen Psaki, and every day she holds that job, she makes Spicer look worse and worse. So yeah, he does have a reason to hate the president. What Sean Spicer doesn't have a right to do is lie and lie about the president's accomplishments, lie about the president's agenda or lie about the president's numbers. Yet Spicer manages a trifecta in this clip lying on all counts. Yes, COVID rates are up right now, but deaths are nowhere near the rates they were when Trump was in office. And that is because of the life-saving vaccines that we have and that the president is actively promoting on an hourly basis to the American people. What exactly does Sean Spicer see as a fault in that? Would Spicer prefer that president encourage the American people to drink bleach and shove light bulbs up their backsides? You guys get where I'm going with this. The difference between how President Biden and Press Secretary Jen Psaki handle the press and that of Trump and Spicer could not be more different. And that is what really bothers Spicer. Pure and utter jealousy. The kind of jealousy a young toddler has if a new baby enters the family. They whine and they seek attention. And Sean Spicer, well, he's good at that. The president is facing all kinds of challenges, none as insignificant as this jackaloon, but I wanted to rip into him because he is a really fun punching bag to go after. And many of you have written to me and asked me to bust his chops, and I always like to deliver for my supporters. So speaking of supporters, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have a feeling Spicer is not going away anytime soon, and I'm not done going after him. After all, he did betray our country. So until next time, sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.